University of Hawaii Athletics Department had a lot of action this past week, ranging from the Rainbow Wahine golf team hosting the Donis Thompson Invitational to the baseball and softball teams posting impressive victories on the road over the weekend. Here's a quick rundown of how our Hawaii teams fared. The women's golf team finished in sixth in their Donis Thompson Invitational, but had two golfers post top 10 finishes individually. Corey Hull continued her great season, tying for fourth, while Carolina Perez shot a final round 71 to end up tied for ninth. The water polo team lost the heartbreaker to second ranked USC 7-6 at the Duke Kahanamoku Aquatic Center. The Rainbow Hine then went on the road and won all four matches in the Aztec Invitational to round out the week. The women's volleyball team hosted a spring exhibition match against the Nebraska Cornhuskers on Thursday, March 19th, the Stan Sheriff Center. Although the Rainbow Wahine fell in four hard-fought sets in the battle of perennial top 10 programs, UH definitely had some bright spots. Amber Kaufman hit an amazing 750 with 12 kills, while Kanani Danielson had a double-double with 15 kills and 16 digs. The men's volleyball team swept two matches over the New Jersey Institute of Technology this weekend, taking a short break from MPSF play. The Warriors now head on the road to face top-ranked UC Irvine for two matches this week. Diver Emma Friesen had an impressive showing at the NCAA Championships this weekend, finishing third on the 1-meter and 13th on the 3-meter competitions. The softball team had an impressive start to whack play this week, taking two of three games at Louisiana Tech. Pitcher Stephanie Ricketts was impressive in the two victories, firing a no-hitter in the series opener, then taking a no-hitter six and two-thirds innings before finishing with a one-hitter in the finale. Ricketts picked up WAC Pitcher of the Week honors for her stellar performances. The Rainbow Wahine play one more game on the road at Grambling before hosting Nevada at home this weekend. The women's tennis team hosted three dual matches this past week, defeating Wyoming, number 74 Washington State before dropping a match to number 64 Arizona, ending their five-match win streak. UH will host Washington, Cal Poly, Illinois, and Marshall this week to close out their 10-match homestand. The baseball team continued its hot streak this past week on the road, winning the Rose City Baseball Invitational. UH beat Washington before falling to host Portland in the first day of the tournament. Freshman Matt Sisto then led UH to a 3-1 win over Oregon on the second day, pushing the Bulls to the championship game. Hawaii then got its revenge on Portland in the championship game as Christian Johnson blasted a pinch hit home run in the top of the 12th inning that proved to be the game winner. The Rainbows will play a game at Oregon State before returning home to host a four game series with nationally ranked Coastal Carolina from Thursday through Saturday at Lesmore Commie Stadium.